Hey guys, I couldn't sleep. I woke up about 4 a.m. this morning, and uh, these thoughts about the events of the last few days keep permeating my heart, and I felt like God wanted me to share. So I will. I'm trying not to wake everybody up here a bit. Here's what I've been lying awake in bed, and, and these thoughts keep uh, being spoken in my heart. And, and here are the thoughts. Character matters. Words matter, okay? Rhetoric, it reveals a person's heart. Jesus said, how can you speak good things when you are evil? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. All right, so if, how, how can, you know, if I, how can you say good things if you're evil? For, from the abundance of your heart, that's, that's what comes out of your mouth. The words that you say on a daily basis, they reveal what's inside your heart, according to Jesus in Matthew 12, 34. Jesus also said that a person's words will either justify or condemn them. He said, but I tell you that everyone will, give, will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. And that's Matthew chapter 12, verses 36 to 37. So think about that. Words are important. By your words you will be justified, acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. One day we'll have to stand before God and give an account for every word that we've spoken, Jesus said, you know, that, that was a careless word or an empty word. Um, why are words so important? If we follow Christ, we can never listen to somebody who says, character doesn't matter. Isn't that what we heard for so many years? Character doesn't matter. As long as we get certain policies and cer certain things pushed through and certain things done. Well, that was speaking against the teaching of Jesus. We were going against Jesus' words, against Jesus' teaching. Character does matter. Character is everything. It doesn't matter if a person does a good thing here or a good thing there. Ultimately, their character will season everything they do towards good or towards evil. You understand? According to Christ, what's in our heart is is very important, fix everything we do, you know, and our words reveal what's in our heart. Um, never listen to somebody who says words don't matter. Uh, Jesus says our words mean everything. They reveal a person's heart and soul. If we follow Jesus, remember a person's words will reveal their forthcoming actions. What a person says on a daily basis becomes what a person does. Words are powerful, okay? Man may be easily deceived by the outward appearance. He only uh, touches a book by its cover. He judges a book by its cover. But God looks at the heart and knows exactly what's inside, okay? He takes the time to read the pages inside our books, and 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7 tells us that, right? So the prophet Samuel comes and, and they're trying to find a, a righteous king to replace a fallen king Saul. And, and, you know, God tells Samuel, you know, man looks on the outward appearance because David was a small stature. But God says, I look on the heart. A person's words from day to day, those are the pages of their book. All right. So we might judge by outward appearance. But God takes the time to read the pages inside the book. Jesus said, by their fruits, you will know them. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 through 20. How do we recognize a false prophet from a true one? By their fruit. Okay? Notice the words they speak day to day. Do they speak words that go against the teaching of Jesus? Do they speak words that contradict the words of Christ? Well, then you can bet your bottom dollar they're a false prophet. All right. By wor their words, we'll know them. By their words, they'll be acquitted, and by their words, they'll be condemned. Okay. By their words, we'll know they're a true prophet, or by their words, we'll know they're a false prophet. By their actions as well. 
you know, look at their fruit, their action. But remember, our words eventually become our actions. That's why words are powerful. Take this a step further, okay? The power of life and death is in the tongue. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 tells us that. We each have the power of life and death in our tongue. Words can make peace. Words can make war. Words can reveal the truth. And words can deceive with a lie. Words can communicate love. And words can spew hatred. Words can create calm. And words can incite violence, insurrection, rebellion, bloodshed. Words are powerful. The scripture puts it this way. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body and sets the whole course of one's life on fire. Okay? And it itself is set on fire by hell. That's James chapter 3 verse 6. So think about this. Think about this. The tongue is powerful. This little thing right here. This little thing in our mouth. It is it is it might be a small part of the body, but it has the power to direct your entire life, just like the rudder of a ship is a small part compared to the full size of the ship, and yet that little part steers the direction of the ship. The words we speak, the words we say, they'll either bring life or they'll bring death. We have to choose them carefully. The words we choose are powerful. And based on our choices, they will be used by heaven or by hell. Maybe I can finally get back to sleep. Love you.